All right, so thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create these really cute uh, soccer invitations that could also um, be used for concert invitations or any sort of sporting events and or concert type of events. Um, before we get into showing you how you can very easily create these, I do want to point out that I do have a YouTube channel that has multiple uh, different videos, everything from creating chalkboard signs, actually getting those signs made and printed into posters. Um, I also have something called Searching and Installing Fonts and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Um, if you see a font on here that you want to use and you do not have a default with the Windows install. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to File, New, Blank Document. And we're going to want to page change the page layout to Landscape. And we want to change the margins to Narrow. Okay, um, Because these tickets are longer than they are wider, um, it works better with the Landscape view so you can fit actually four invitations on one piece of paper. Okay. First thing you're going to want to do is click on Insert, Shape, and we want to insert a rectangle. And we know that this shape is selected because we see the little um, squares around it. So what we're going to want to do is come over to the Format tab and click all the way over to the right. And we're going to want to make these 5.5 inches by 2.5 inches. And I basically did a search um, on Google and uh, or you could use Bing or Yahoo, whatever you feel comfortable with, um, and ask what a typical size concert ticket and or sporting event ticket was. And that was a, a pretty common, common answer. So also there was a number of envelopes that fit that size, but really you can make this any size that you want. You can just use this as sort of a guide. So we're going to go and do shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of black. We're then going to go through and create this top portion. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert a text box and we're going to draw a text box. And we're going to come up here. We're going to draw our text box. And uh, the first thing we want to do is click on format. And again, we want to ensure this text box is selected. Click on format and do a shape fill of black. And we could do a shape outline of no outline. We then want to go to the home screen and click on the font color white. We then want to type section, row, and seat. Okay. Um, we want to highlight all these and we want to be sure this is set to Calibri 11, which it is. Okay. Now what we want to do is maybe add a tab and I'm hitting the tab key and we don't want to tab over too much. And if the tab doesn't, um, set it just right, you can just simply add the space um, by using the space bar on your keypad. But you basically want to space these out and just kind of eyeball them to be sure it, it looks about right. Um, it doesn't need to be exact. And then we can go ahead and we can right click. We want to highlight this text box, right click, click copy. And then we want to right click and do paste. And you want to keep source formatting. Okay, we're going to go down here and move this right below. We want to click on format and we want to do a shape fill of green. And then we want to change this to VIP 8 and 8. And obviously you can make this and change this to any number um, and or section that you want. But again, this is for Cole's 8th birthday party, so that's why we did row 8 and seat 8. And you just want to use the space bar so you can uh, have these pretty much centered underneath the section in a row. All right, next thing we want to do is add this sort of middle part. So we're going to go through and we're going to go ahead and insert, once again, a text box. And we're going to click into here. And we're going to go to this. And once again, we're going to go format and we want to do a shape outline of no outline. And we want to do a shape fill of a picture. Okay, let's actually go and find this picture. So I, again, like to use Google, but if you like to use Bing or Yahoo, whatever search engine, that's fine. And we're going to type in black and white thin stripe. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on images. And I think this is the one that I used. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to do save picture as. And I actually want to save this into my soccer folder. And we can go ahead and call this Diag Stripe. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and again, what I did was I wanted to do shape fill. I wanted to fill with a picture. And I want to browse. And I want to go to my desktop. I want to find my soccer folder. And I want to add my diag stripe. Okay. Now from here, this is obviously black and white and we don't want it to be black and white. Um, so what we want to do is we want to click on drawing tools we want to click on picture tools and we want to click on format. And then from here, we want to change the color to green. So sorry, we want to change the color. And if you could see down here, this is changing the background color and this is actually changing the color of the stripes to green. Okay. Um, the next thing we can do is actually make this slightly smaller. And again, we kind of eyeballed it when we, we drew the um, box. So um, we actually want to make this a little bit smaller. So we want to click on here because you, you can't fully see the, um, the black outline. And under width, we just want to do maybe 2.47. And then we can use the arrow keys on our keyboard to highlight and then move this image um, slightly over to the left. Okay. All right, now what we want to do is we want to find our soccer ball. So let's go ahead and type in soccer ball. And what I want to do is I want to look for a .png image file. And I do have a video explaining this. But basically what a PNG is, is it is going to ensure that this background over here isn't white. So if you can see that this is a gray and white background, that means there is actually no background. You're just gonna get that soccer ball, which is what you want. You don't want this white background along with it. So we're gonna go ahead and save picture as, and let's go ahead and save it as soccer. Okay, and let's go back here, and we want to insert picture. Let's insert our soccer ball. Okay, and the very first thing we're gonna notice is we can't very easily move this around. We can make it a little bit smaller, and then we want to right click, and we want to click on Wrap Text. When we wrap text, we want to wrap it in front of text, okay? Now once we do that, we can very easily move this around by simply left clicking and holding that down and then dragging this around, okay? So we can go ahead and put the soccer ball in there, and then we want to insert Oh, I'm so sorry, this is a text box. We want to press enter a few times and write Cole, which is whosoever or who, whosoever's name is having the birthday party, obviously. And we used Collegiate Heavy Outline, and it is a 48 point font. Oops. 48 point font. And so sorry, this is a 48 point font. And we want to write Cole, all in uppercase. And then from here, we can press Enter and kind of move this up and down a little bit. And actually, let's move this up there. And then we can make the soccer ball just slightly smaller. And we can move this text box up. And then from here, we want to go ahead and center that. Okay, all right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and create, create this bottom portion. So we want to, once again, insert a text box, and we go and draw a text box. And let's go ahead and draw that. And we wanna do a format, a shape fill of black, and no outline. And we wanna go to home, and we wanna ensure that that text color is white. And we're gonna say is, turning eight, and we wanna go ahead and highlight this. And we used stencil as the font, and it is a 22 point font. And we want to center this, okay? From here, we can simply click on this text box. We can right click and do a copy. You can click up on the top here so you see the cursor, and then do a paste. And then we can grab this and move this down here. 
and we can write R U game. And we can highlight this and make this a 21 point font. And we can change this to black. Hmm. Highlight the font. And we can format and we can do a shape fill of white. Okay? All right, now what we want to do is do the last control V or right click and do a paste and keep source formatting and move this down. And then we want to write game time, or actually we want to say the um, date, I apologize about that, January 14th at 3 p.m. So we can do Jan 14th, 3 p.m. And the font of this is actually called Trebuchet. And this is, I believe, a default Microsoft, so you should have this. And what we want to do is format and do a shape fill of this green color. And we want to do home black font. Okay. All right. Then finally, we want to add these last two areas where we can go ahead and do an insert. We can do a text box and we want to draw a text box. And once again, we're going to drag and put this down here. And we want to do a shape fill for this text box of black. We want to go home and ensure our color, font color, is white. Arena Sports at 555 Poplar Way in Issaquah. Now, as you can see here, the, the line spacings are um, a, a little much. So what you want to do is if there's um, sort of a bigger space in between than you want, you can highlight all the text and go up to here and go to line and paragraph spacing. And again, this is found under the home tab and it's called line and paragraph spacing. And you're going to want to say line spacing options. You're going to go to here and press zero and press single. Okay. And that's going to move that right up. So you have a lot more real estate to work with. RSVP email at gmail.com by 114 and again you want to highlight this and we want to do center and then if you don't want this email at gmail.com to be a link and you don't want it to be highlighted in blue you can highlight this text and again I'm highlighting it by holding down the left clicking button right click and you can just click on remove hyperlink once you do that, it will actually remove that, okay? And then finally, we want to do this little barcode on the bottom with the happy birthday coal. So from here, we can just simply go to barcode, and we can click on images, and you literally could grab any one of these. Um, we can do a save picture as barcode, all one word. And let's go back here. And we want to insert a picture and let's insert our barcode. And once again, you want to click on the layout options or you want to right click and do wrap text in front of text. So we can very easily move this down. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to select this image and we want to click on crop. I'm going to go back down here and we want to just crop this all the way up to there. Okay, so that's like the little barcode scanner. And then finally, we can add in our little last touch where we add in our last text box where we go ahead and put that directly under there. And we want to again do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And we want to write happy birthday cool and we want to highlight this text and we want to be sure this is Trey Boucher just for consistency reasons and then finally we want to click on format we want to go to text effects 
transform and we want to say square so it will actually fit within that text box and it'll uh, expand that that font out and that's it there you have it um, now if you wanted to actually copy and paste this over and create multiple different um, invitations to print out more on one page you can simply click on one section hold down the shift key click on the next and basically just click on all of the text boxes and then you can while you're still holding down the shift key left click and you can say group okay now when you group you can very easily move this oh, I obviously didn't get the outline but that's okay you can very easily move all of these as one object the other thing you can do when you group is you can right click and do a copy. From here you can right click and you can do a paste. And because it's grouping, it's going to allow you to pull everything over. And then we can right click and we can do a paste. And again, you can just grab this entire invitation over and we can move it down with our arrow keys to line it up. So you just have to make one clean cut and we can do a paste. Okay. And again, we can do this so we can get one nice clean cut. And then finally, we want to grab, I don't know why this didn't take before, but we can very easily do a right click and a copy for the outline, or we can just insert multiple different, um, we could also Im insert different shapes, but we already right clicked and then we wanna do a paste and we can just move this over. And again, we can use our arrow keys paste and then finally our last one where we can do our paste and that's it we now have our uh, multiple different invitations and obviously if you're printing you might want to move these down um, to ensure that you just have to do one cut, but you can kind of play with that pretty easily. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like this video on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do monitor the chat rooms, and I, again, I made these specifically from requests, so if you guys do have any requests, please let me know. Any feedback or any questions, um, again, please let me know I'm here. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.